Well, number three is uh, this transfer function, calculate, draw the body plot. So here we have three, four zeros, four poles, two poles at one, one pole at 50, and one pole at 100. And to start this, again, we need to prepare this in the standard form for body plot. We want to factor out all those elements in the denominator, so we get S divided by the cutoff frequency plus one. We can factor out 50 and 100, and you can write this as S plus one squared, S over 50 plus one, and S over 100 plus one. And this simplifies to 0 0.2 divided by S plus one squared, S over 50 plus one, S over 100 plus one. We have everything we need for the body plot. Why is it not showing? Sorry, I have to restart the app again. There we are. Where does the body plot start? To the left of all poles and zeros, the only thing acting on the body plot is the constant gain of 0 0.2. So you can start the body plot at 20 log of 0 0.2. And this is negative approximately negative 14 decibels. So we can place it around negative 14. And then you have a constant line going all the way to the first cutoff frequency. And the first cutoff frequency, it happens at one radians per second. Then you have another one at 50. So this is 20, 30, 40, 50 around here. And then you have another one at 100 right there. So these frequencies are not one decade apart. So we have negative 40 and negative 40 will keep going all the way to the first cutoff frequency. That's negative 14, excuse me. All the way to the first cutoff frequency at one. What happens at one? Well, at one, we have two zero, two poles at one radians per second. So each pole adds negative 20 decibels per decade to the magnitude. The slope is negative 40 dB per decade. So if now we are negative 14, one decade from now, we are at, what, what is the magnitude at 10? Negative 34, right? It's negative uh, 44, excuse me, 44, 54, 54. Yeah, I'm having a hard time making math. Negative 14 minus 40. So negative 54. At negative 54. 54. All right, because this is now a slope of negative 40 dB per decade. We went on by one decade, that's 10 times in frequency. And then we want to go down by negative 40. So negative 54. What is the magnitude at? If you go now one decade from now to 10 to 100, and we ignore that we have a pole at 50, then we should be at negative 94, right? Another 40 decibels uh, down. But if you want to stop at 50, what is the magnitude at 50? I actually accidentally stopped at 50, so sh this should be one decade is over here, right? It's over here. 
here we are at negative 54. Let me just redraw this. Accidentally went all the way to the other decade there. Negative 54 should be there. There we go. All right, so negative 40, one decade from now. So if you go all the way to 100, we would be a negative 94. The problem is there is a cutoff frequency at 50. What is the magnitude of 50, uh, 50 radians per second now? Well, if we are at negative 54, and we are going down on a slope of negative 40 dB per decade, Everything, every time we put it in parentheses there, a factor of 10 from a given frequency, we go down by negative 40. But we are not going on a full decade. We are going half of decade. We are starting at 10. And we are going all the way to 50 only, not to 100. You see, if it was 100 divided by 10, that would be 10. Negative 54 minus 40 log of 10 is negative 94. But we are stopping at 50. That is half of a decade, and this is not a linear scale. And if you calculate this, we should get how much? I mean, negative 81 dB. So if you keep going down at 50, we should be a negative 81 dB. We didn't have to take this reference point at 10. We could have taken this reference point at 1. Yeah, good point. Minus 40 log of the frequency ratio, right, which is 50 divided by one. Yeah, thank you. And this both should give you the same, same value, okay? So one takes the starting point at 10 radians per second. The other one takes the starting point at one radius per second, same slope. Okay, so when you cross 50 now, we have a cutoff frequency and this cutoff frequency comes from a pole. The pole adds negative 60, uh, negative 20 dB per decade, which means that the slope now becomes negative 60 dB per decade. Becomes negative 60 dB per decade and will, because you're adding negative 40 To, uh, with minus 20. So here is negative 60 dB per decade. We'll have to stop at 100 radians per second because that is the cutoff frequency of another pole. What is the magnitude at 100? Tell me. Based on what we just calculated, what is the magnitude at 100 uh, radians per second? is the magnitude of our starting point, which is negative 81 minus 60 log of the frequency ratio. Why 60? Because now the slope is negative 60. We are starting at negative 81. The slope is negative 60. So for each frequency decayed, it will go down by a negative 60. Our reference point here is 50 radians per second we are stopping at 100. So this is not a full decade. We're just going by a fifth of a decade here. By, by half of a decade, actually. Right. And this should give us around negative 100 decibels. The magnitude here is negative 100 dB. When we reach 100, there is another pole. And this pole now adds another slope, uh, uh, another negative 20 dB to the slope. The slope is now negative 80. One decade from now, at 10 to the power of 3, what is the magnitude? Negative 180. Negative 180. Because the slope now is negative 80 
dB per decade. So if we start at negative 100, one decade from now, we are at negative 180. And if you go to one decade from now, then we are at negative 260 and so on. Let's look at the phase just to wrap it up. Phase starts at zero. First uh, pole here is at one, but you have two poles at one. So it goes down to negative 180. Then you cross another pole at 50, that adds negative 90, negative 70, 270. And then at 100, we cross another pole, another negative 90 degrees. Phase goes down like that. And when we interpolate, we'll see something like this. <laughs> 